Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. I am just waking up, guys. And uh, earlier today, I went for a four mile run. I came home and showered. Um, did a couple of live streams uh, yesterday on the uh, Simply Stasis production. And right now, I'm just pretty much laying back, guys, looking at videos, editing videos. Um, today it is Wednesday. Happy hump day to everyone. You made it halfway through the week and another half and we'll be to the weekend, baby. Um, pretty much I'm just chilling, um, looking at a couple of channels, you know, and doing um, some maintenance to Double Diamonds page and, you know, trying to bring you guys some good content. But uh, this morning um, I'm just doing a test upload with my new phone, which is a iPhone 10. Um, the other iPhone I had someone stole, and finally, after almost three or four months, uh, AT and T had basically sent me another phone. So basically, I'm just testing it out, and you just can see that the sound quality is great, the video quality is great. But I'm gonna have to tell you something, guys. I'm getting tired of the iPhone uh, saga period because I realize I'm paying too much money for something and I can get uh, a little cheap phone, forty five, thirty five dollars to do. Um, I'm not, I'm into telecommunications, guys, I love, I love, I love te telecommunications and things of that nature, but my, when it comes to the point where, you know, you gotta sit here and like, oh my god, can I afford this, can I afford that, is it worth it, and you really look at it and you're like, oh no, 1,000, I mean, 2,000 for the same phone is ridiculous, I have an Android phone that does basically the same thing, and then I don't have to worry about my screen on Android, because they're more easy to fix than iPhone. Even though I can fix it myself, you know, I try to, you know, give it back to the company that it comes from because of warranty. But I am going to be um, turning my phone, iPhone 10, into someone um, who's going to, I'm probably going to have a drawing for it. And um, I'm going to go back to the Android, guys, because it, it, it's, it's crazy, you know, how much, you know, cell phones and things have cost, you know, when it used to be so cheap. And iPhone, you know, it does the same thing my laptop does. I don't need to have all that fancy stuff. So I'm a uh, low key, uh, low save money type of female when it comes to YouTube and you know uh, speaking or whatever because the same things I can do with my iPhone I can do with my laptop which is awesome. Um, basically, guys, I'm just chilling. Be going to the classes today. Um, but uh, you know, nevertheless, that's how it goes. I'm gonna get up in a minute, guys, and make me some coffee. So I'm just really, like I said, testing out this here video, video card, video phone, and I'm also in my old laptop. I just somebody's up. Uh, oh my God! Here we go, Chief Patricia. Uh, man, am I gonna go to her channel today, guys? No, I I don't care to go to see a bunch of drama. I mean, she's gone for my husband. Her husband gone for somebody else. I mean, that's selfish for the birds, and she always sending me things. So, but right now, I'm checking out my boy D9, D9 Productions. Go check him out. He's a great channel. Um, uh, subscribing, uh, just do that. You know, he loves that. He's a very great guy. He takes time out to tell you about YouTube. He's a gamer. Um, he has about 2,500 subscribers, and right now he's talking about his walk. <laughs> his uh, walk, and he's talking about how much it costs to get him a pack, you know, for, you know, you know, just do YouTube. He's committed his time to YouTube, and I'm um, wishing him much success. Um, uh, him and I, and uh, hopefully Abandoned Boys, uh, Honey Gamer, will do a collaboration. Uh, coming soon, and uh, you know, I'm gonna learn a lot from him. He learns a lot from me. You know, we're just family, you know, so and that's how we get down. So, and uh, you know, pretty much that's what we'll be up to. Um, as far as anything today, I'm gonna be uh, making a cake, uploading on uh, <clears throat> Double Diamonds and also simply, simply uh, Stacy's production. So, um, but I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this. I'm going to have uh, four channels, one for dogs, dogs for us, two, uh, Double D's Diner is the second one, then simply Stacy's Production, and then finally the fourth one, where I just, you know, pretty much just chill and, you know, just to have a good time, uh, Double Diamond, um, you guys know I got a community strike because I did uh, a, a rendition of um, WWZE's uh, Clash of the Titans back about around, I think it was August. I've got a channel, a community strike, and, you know, they said that it was going to be lifted in a week, but yet and still, here I am um, on my main channel, Double Diamond, and the only thing I can do is upload, so I'm grateful for that, but at the same time, I think uh, YouTube need to loosen up their policies when it comes to community strike, because you can just be whistling a song, and boom, they'll ban, you know, strike your channel. 
Um, I've talked to a lot of people that uh, I don't understand how YouTube comes with their formalities. You know, it's okay for people, you know, post their boobs to little small kids reporting and they get monetized and and in small, smaller channels like us, we do something, you know, to subscribe to uh, people's channels and then you get to a certain milestone that you, you know, create and you try to reward your family slash subscribers. I call you family, but most pe typical people on YouTube call you subscribers, but I call you family. But, you know, like I said, at the end of the day, YouTube is YouTube. And, you know, there's other more platforms like Twitch and other things you can go to. But I love YouTube because most of my friends are on YouTube. Um, I keep up with them socially, um, meaning that, you know, I don't go to typically like Facebook and Twitter to uh, basically reach out to my friends, you guys, because I realize that, you know, up personal and up close is the best way to get friends and stay that way. You know, um, I'm not on here to do money. God knows that case. I would have been monetized a long, long time ago because, you know, me being military, you know, networking and whatever it is, what it is. But I just like, you know, meet new friends I've never met before. Um, basically, you know, like I stated before, I'm not here to make money. I'm just here to make friends. And the reason why I love YouTube so much because about a year and a half ago, two years, we had a, um, a hurricane, Francis, Hurricane Michael, all those things came through. You guys know how I was. Very relentless. I see things that I never thought would see in my own home, home city or hometown. Um, even though I was born in Brooklyn, New York, and, and been a lot of great places, and you never think when you come home and see such catastrophic things because um, I know that for one fact that I was going home um, and I was driving my truck when I first uh, got home and uh, I seen um, a truck go down into a bridge that, had, I mean, you never thought would crash ever. Um, it crashed and the 18 wheel was down there. We had to jump in and save a couple of people. Um, I got wet, got sick with the flu, but other than that, I was glad that I did. Um, when I did that, they spearheaded me, made me an head of uh, control of all the, the northwestern um, uh, northwestern area of the United States when it comes to uh, spearheading and leading and being in control of the troops. Um, I was not the officer in charge, but I was a senior non-commissioned officer in charge of the whole echelon where we just reached out and make sure everybody was safe and all that. And then there was a young lady that wanted me to be on YouTube, and she says to me, will you please stay up with me tonight? And I said yes. So there you have it. And that's why I do what I do, because I love doing what I do for the military. And also, I love the fact that I could sit back, you know, take time off um, for my busy life and, you know, having a vacation right now. After 30 some years, you know, you finally realize, hey, guys, am I going to retire? I'm going to stay in. I officially put the paperwork in. There has not been a date set yet for my retirement from the military. When I ever do, I don't know if I, I thought about staying in so long as I can, but I realize right now that I'm in a position now where I can expand and, and you know, go to school and have more time home. And I'm thinking, seriously thinking about retiring, guys, really. Um, even though I love it, but it's time for me to think about other parts of my life where I'm still young to go into another skill or another trade. Um, military science has been excellent. I'm an expert in it and uh, a military analyst for a lot of things, but yet until the end of the day, it's great to come home and pitch your feet up like I'm doing now, guys. And yes, I have orange color on because we had a holiday uh, festival for Halloween. And uh, um, I just love the color orange now. I mean, my favorite color is not orange, but it's one of the favorite colors of mine. But um, anyway, guys, I am just basically chilling. Like I said, I'm going to get up in a minute and go outside because uh, China's mother has had puppies. And I have not seen them yet in theirs, but I think it was like two Fridays ago. Not really sure, not really sure, guys, if um, I should touch the puppies because, you know, I, you know, the dogs are born blind. But yesterday I heard them so loud. I was like, arr, arr, arr. I was like, oh my gosh, the man China was so excited. So I did a couple live streams that was so excited about the dogs that I was like, oh, we're going to do this 24 7. So, um, but I wasn't able to stay on 24 7 yesterday. I had a little hip hiccups, and, um, and that's on Simply Stasis Production. If you want to see the dogs or whatever, um, you know, you can see what I'm talking about, but I I'm, think I'm going to do a series, uh, compile all of the beginnings when I first got China and her brother and, and leading up to now because I have so much footage that I can go and edit and I'm getting into editing now, uh, something I never really thought about doing because I believe in, you know, if you're going to shoot something, got something to say, shoot it live and you get more, uh, subscribers and, uh, whatever. But like I said, you know, I'm out here to not just get fame or, you know, prestigious uh, money or monetizations from YouTube. No, I'm not. If it happens, wonderful. If not, then hey. 
I'm carrying on. I just love, you know, reaching out to you guys, touching and giving you a little piece of support of my life and seeing you guys come to my live stream. Even though it may be one or two, hey, guys, I am happy with that. You know, it is what it is. Um, is right now is about 7.45 in the morning. And uh, it's a beautiful sunshine. You can see the sun is coming through the windows. China's outside, you know, playing, getting her uh, play in. Um, I like to let her out early before my tenants, you know, from the other people come around or whatever, uh, saying your dog is in the yard because, you know, she has free reign to go anywhere she wants. But I like to be a, not a scum lord, but a great lord when it comes to my tenants and my houses and my properties. Um, right now, like I told you before, um, in my other streams, you don't know who I am, then you know me now. Um, Wow. Uh, basically that, you know, I just do this for fun and I have a great time doing it. I'm a moderator of a couple channels. Um, right now I'm looking at D9. I mean, I'm not a moderator for his channel. Yeah, I am. I am a moderator. Um, everything is in the blue is moderation. Everything you see in white, that's uh, regular subscribers that he has not monetized. Um, excuse me. Good God. He has not uh, made a moderator. Um, I did check out one, ch one uh, channel other than D9. That's Miss Carolyn B. Free. I love her. She's my home girl from North Carolina, and she can just sit outside early in the morning, get sunrises. And she and uh, Carolina Hillbilly, uh, shout, big shout out to him, are some of the people that I pretty much hang around because um, I've learned, you know, there's certain YouTubers that you don't want to mess with because uh, a couple times somebody sent me links and things that like that trying to be, uh, what's the word I want to say, racism. And I, and I will pull the card because. You know, a lot of times in days we shouldn't have that shit nowhere around us in the United States. But yet, still, no matter what you do, just because of the lack of understanding someone's culture, you know, basically they want to call you the N word or whatever. And I'm not having that, guys. I, I, I would not. Too many of my ancestors have died and proven the fact that we are very superior. We're not dumb. We're not stole. We're not damn niggers. And the next person that does that is going to be only going to get a clap back from hell, really, because I put my time in the military. I serve and protect your life so you can have a good chance of uh, uh, even surviving from terrorists or uh, all foreign domestics. You know, I'm, uh, I'm affirmed to uphold, you know, what I do, which is in the military, and I love it. Um, Veterans Day is coming up soon, guys. I am so excited. I've been asked to speak in several engagements, but I'm not really sure because right now is a busy time in my life of transitioning. Um, I just lost uh, my twins. Uh, that's why I'm home now in bed rest, going to school for the next six weeks. Um, like, you know, it has been a great um, opportunity to have be a mother of twins. But at the same time, the eggs got sucked in my fallopian tube and they had to do an emergency, um, uh, uh, I want to say emergency, uh, how you say it? Uh, it's not induced, but emergency um, C section. Um, I was sore for a little while, but now I'm not that sore anymore. I'm beginning to walk around. I, I did uh, walk a four miles today, um, and I'm kind of sore still. So I came home and took a hot bath, and I'm just laying around because I think I may pull pull a stitch or something. But I called my doctor, and he said, there's nothing to worry about. Go ahead and put some of that, uh, that dim, not uh, what does you call it? It's a, it's a suture um, that she gave me where you put a little bit of it on your womb or whatever, and it seals it without stitches. So... That's what I just did. I put a, a little Benadine on it like she asked me to laying back. So if I have any problems, she told me just call her. And um, right now she's on uh, speed dial, which you see the second icon on the screen. Um, you know, VA takes it very seriously when a uh, service member is sick or at, just had major surgery. So, you know, that's what I'm doing now. And um, I want to go outside, guys, but I can't. I've now been put on exclusively bed rest for the next six weeks. I got that this morning. Um, for my doctor, so that means I can't do shit but go outside, look around for a second if I want to, and back in the house. So, guys, it's going to be a very boring six weeks for me because I'm not used to staying in one place for uh, for very long. And uh, it is what it is. Um, the sun is shining so beautiful, guys. I wish I could go outside and just walk, 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 walk. But I'm too sorry, and I'm just laying around. So, you know. But I have to get dressed later right now. I'm just going to go back to sleep. I got class homework I got to work on today. I'm thinking about... Oh, God. D9 trying to sing, guys. Oh, my God. Thumbs down for that voice, honey. But thumbs up for this. We're trying. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, but anyway. Oh, uh, God. You want to see... I'm going to let you guys see D9. Oh, God. I'm so sorry, guys. If I sit up. 
join it, guys. We'll be there to help cheer uh, you up with your voice chat. I too try to do the um the Dropbox thing, and uh, right now I'm not gonna start my computer. Not now, but later. So it is kind of cold this morning, chilly. This is the this is my boy D9 Beats. Uh, check out his channel. And uh, truthfully, Trisha again finally happened. So I think I'm going to switch over from her. I just want to see what this woman is talking about because if you don't know her channel, this woman keeps a whole lot of things going on. So I just want to see a little bit of what she's talking about. Well, guys, I hear the dogs, man. The dogs outside doing their little thing. Well, anyway, guys, I'm going to. Get off here and uh, go check on, look outside, check on the place. Well, you guys can come with me. But this is true for Trisha, guys. That turn, so I got a lot of things going I'm trying to do, but right now I think I'm doing too much right now. I got to close out some of this stuff. I don't care about truth. Oh, God, here's the phone. Let me see what the hell this is. Normally, I don't answer my phone this early, but let's see what it is. Oh, guys, I got to go. Let me take this phone. I'll come back with you guys later. Have a blessed hump day. Peace.